aphrodisiacs it's me khadija so if you're new to my channel then please hit that subscribe button join the family and if you're already subscribed then welcome back all right you guys so oh my goodness it has been literally a month since i have filmed since i've uploaded you guys i didn't mean to take this long of a break i was just gonna take two weeks to get things together for the new year and then life happened i'm doing good i hope that you all are doing well in the new year thus far so if you are new to my channel then welcome i have high porosity hair right, so the first product here we're starting out with pre poos and that is unrefined coconut oil so i have been using this for years now i use coconut oil on the length of my hair at the end of the week when my hair is like dry tangled you know needs to be washed i apply it has great slip I'm able to finger detangle and then I leave it on for at least eight hours and coconut oil is great for quote unquote damaged hair because it has lauric acid and it really helps to strengthen the hair it also helps to soften the hair it also aids in moisture retention now my high porosity hair can stay moisturized for like three days as where before I started using coconut oil I would get one day of moisture okay one day so yeah this stuff game changer i love to use this on my hair as a overnight pre-poo once a week and as for my scalp because my scalp actually hates coconut oil i don't know why <laughs> i use a different oil on my scalp and i've been really enjoying the miche polished hair and scalp oil this oil is i would say like pretty basic i feel like you could probably make this to be honest but i really like it mainly because of the scent it smells like fruit roll-ups I mentioned in a previous video that I really like to use this kind of like as a hair perfume because it smells so good. It has basic simple ingredients like argan and jojoba oil. It is a lightweight moisturizing oil. It just nourishes my scalp and makes everything smell good. <laughs> so I've really been enjoying this. All right, so moving on to shampoos. So I like to use two different types of shampoos. I have a more moisturizing shampoo that I like to use weekly and then a more clarifying shampoo that I use monthly. So as far as my more moisturizing shampoo, I have been loving the Miche Cleanse Moisturizing and Cleansing Sulfate Free Shampoo. It gives your hair the moisture so when you apply it, you definitely feel like your hair feels soft it feels moisturized but then when you rinse it out especially after that second lather you can tell that your hair and your scalp is clean okay and I love that because with me having high porosity hair I tend to use heavier products that have a lot of oils butters and even waxes so I need something that's going to cleanse and then once a month I go in with a clarifying shampoo and I've been using this one for years this is the Afigy shampoo for damaged hair so this is a sulfate shampoo but it has one of the more gentle sulfates it has sodium lorith sulfate it says it cleanses gently it restores shine it helps to strengthen hair and it normalizes ph i feel like all the above this is really good at deeply cleansing my hair without stripping it so i really like to use this once a month when i just you know want to remove all of that excess product buildup that maybe this sulfate free shampoo didn't get off of my strands in my scalp moving on now we're going to talk about protein treatments so if you have high porosity hair then you probably already know the importance of doing a protein treatment at least once a month it helps to strengthen the hair reinforce the cuticle it also helps to like bring more curl definition to your hair because it's like repairing the cuticle layer also it helps with shedding if you're experiencing excessive shedding also, if your hair is more like limp, your curls are not really defined, you don't have a lot of elasticity, that is what protein is going to cover. So I do protein treatment once a month. If you have really damaged high porosity hair, you may need to do it more often. So for the past couple of months, you guys, I've just been using Apogee two-step protein treatment. So it has step one, which is a liquid, and then it has step two, which is their conditioner. So step one, you like spray it on your hair or you can apply it in your hand. I typically like apply it to my hand and I just put it on my hair and it's a liquid. And so it defines all of your curls, which I love to see. And then you have to use a blow dryer for it to harden. And with high porosity hair, it takes like 10 minutes for my hair to harden and like dry with the product rinse it out apply step two which is their conditioner so that you can balance out the protein and then if your hair is still kind of dry after step two you can follow up with additional 
treatments so i do deep condition after step two because my hair still feels like it needs a little bit more moisture so yeah but this is really good i've been using this since i want to say like november it's just a reliable protein treatment and what i really like about this besides the strength is that i feel like it actually helps to define my curls my twist outs have been looking way more defined than they used to because i just feel like this does such a good job of like reinforcing that curl definition which i can literally see when the product is like in my hair in step one i can see that my hair is so defined all right so now moving on to deep conditioning which is something that i do once a week so i have two deep conditioners that i alternate between weekly so the first one here is the Mish strengthen protein slash moisture balance deep conditioner and this has baobab and vegan keratin proteins the consistency of this is really thick so if you have more finer hair like literally it's super super thick if you have finer hair you have to be careful how much you're applying okay and also i said in my last video from last year that i was gonna try adding oil to my deep conditioners specifically this oil to this deep conditioner but it's so heavy that it's just not a good idea i don't want for my hair to be super weighed down where i don't have volume so i would use that one week and then the following week use the Mish indulge moisturizing deep conditioner and this has raw honey and babasu oil this is completely protein free so one week use this get the moisture and all of that protein and then the following week use this which has a bit more moisture to keep things balanced this one is lighter in consistency and compared to the strengthen still pretty thick but just feels more lightweight so it smells so good these products smell like fruit roll up all right so i'm switching over to a voiceover i've been trying to work with the mesh boost hydrating leave-in curl spray and also the Bounce Curl Defining Cream. Long story short, these products trigger my asthma because of the scent. And also, I feel like the Curl Defining Cream doesn't have the most hold for my high porosity hair. And it still gets frizzy. So, unfortunately, I am going to be not using these. And I'm going to use my staple styling products instead. The Kinky Curly Not Today, which you guys know I absolutely love. And then also the Carol's Daughter Marguerite's Magic, which I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing. But this is a really thick buttercream and it just does the job to give me great twist outs. One product that I forgot to mention to you guys is the Camaro's Naturals Fresh Curl. I love this stuff as a leave-in to refresh my old curls, to do updos. It has so many different purposes and it's super moisturizing. All right, and then we have two more products. So the next one here is the Hydrotherma Naturals Daily Moisturizing Growth Lotion. I love this stuff for my edges in my nape. If you have any area of your hair that is super dry, it needs TLC, so it can be your edges, your nape, your crown area, your ends. I highly recommend this stuff. It's super moisturizing. It has ceramides and black seed oil. It does have peanut oil, so if you have allergies to peanut, this is not something you want to try, but it's super, super hydrating. It has more like a thicker, creamy consistency. And I literally feel like this does aid with growth because if you're keeping areas of your hair moisturized, hydrated, it's going to ultimately help with length retention. So I absolutely love this stuff for my problem areas. I'll show you guys what my edges are looking like. I've been growing them out for like two years now and just, you know, I've been trying to take better care of them. So this is what it's looking like and it looks so much better than how they used to because they're actually growing and I'm retaining length and I'm due for a trim actually. In a couple of weeks then also what i have here is extra virgin olive oil so this is what i use to seal in the moisture in my hair after i use my cream i will go in with this as my sealant so that is it for this video you guys i hope they all enjoyed found it helpful if you did then please give it a big thumbs up comment down below let me know if you are going to be trying any of these products mentioned which products you're going to be using in 2022 feel free to share this video and of course subscribe i'll see you all in the next one bye guys